Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yasser Ahmed. So we will continue looking at spreadsheet functions. Um, this will be useful, especially if you're covering the ICT IGC course. And in this video, guys, we're going to be looking at lesson five and we're going to be using count functions. So please check out the previous videos where we looked at formatting, defining cells and ranges and using formulas and functions, creating graphs, using absolute cell referencing. This is going to be linking in with the count functions because we're going to be locking some cells. So let's go to this particular page. So what we have here are lots of range ranges of cells, uh, lots of criterias, and we're going to be looking for particular values and counting them. So count functions are used to count. So use the appropriate count functions, count, count A, and count if. So let me tell you the difference between the count functions. So one second, uh, what's happened there? Should change that to e, uh, red. So if I type in count, and just make that bigger. Oh, let me do that again. If I type here equals count, equals count, what that does is counts the number of cells in a range that only contains numbers. So equal count will only count um, cells in a range that contain only numbers. Now, if I type in count A, we'll count the number of cells in a range that are not empty. So this can contain letters, numbers, a combination of letters and numbers, or any symbols you may press on your keyboards, like a dash or a question mark, full stop, for example. So this will count a cell only if it's um, not empty. And then count if, what that does is counts the number of cells within a range that meets the given condition. So criteria is matched. All right, so let's go ahead and start this. Okay, so what we have here in the first uh, range are numbers, and we just want to count the numbers. So if I click here, equals count, and we highlight from this cell here, so C6 to C17, and close the brackets, uh, what we're expecting to see is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers. If I include another number in the range, you can see it goes up to eight. If I get rid of a number, it goes back down to seven. If I include a letter, um, it's not going to add. So this is only counting um, numbers within a range of cells. Uh, max, min, and average is the same as what we did in previous videos. So equal max should return um, the highest value. So what I'm going to do is just press Control Z and just return the values to what they were. So equals max, highlight the cells, press enter, 34, equals min, highlight the range of cells, it should return 1, and then the average, okay, let's uh, highlight the range of cells, close bracket, job done. Right, we're now going to be counting um, all of these nationalities. So what we need to use now is count A. So count A counts the number of cells in a range. Um, so count A we're using. Counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty. So we want to count all of these cells here. So if I click on count A, highlight all of these. We have 12 different nationalities. If I delete Spanish, it goes down to 11. If I was to put a number in there, it's going to count that number. If I typed in like a dash, it's going to Is going to count that okay if i type in a uh, combination of letters and numbers it'll count that as well so it's not changing from from 12. only when a cell becomes empty it doesn't count so let's just return it to what it was right guys now what we can do is we can use the count if to count in this range of cells for this particular criteria so emirati so if i type in here count if this is the first method. So the range is where are we looking to count from? So we need to look at this now. The range is here. So we're looking in this range of cells. And what is the criteria? The criteria, we can either click on this cell here. And we have three Emiratis. One, uh, two, three. Or what we can do is we can, in speech marks, we can type in a criteria as well. So M A variety. Make sure you spell it right, and we get the same answer. 
But what you can do is we can use absolute cell referencing. So we can do the formula the one time and then drag it down. So count if the range is going to stay in the same place. It's not moving anywhere for all of these um, cells here. So we need to lock this. So you can press function F4. You can see a dollar before the letter and a dollar before the number. Okay, so we're going from F6 to F17. Comma, so this is absolute cell reference. It's going, not going to move anywhere. The criteria is going to be in this position here. So when I drag down this formula, it's going to look in the next cell for uh, the next criteria. If I'm here, we're going to look in this cell here for the Spanish. Um, we have Bria Mirati that we checked before. We've got two Kateri, um, one, two, and then two Spanish, one and two. Now, if you want to do not um, Emirati, so everything else, so we should get nine. So three minus 12 is nine. This is what we need to do. So count if. So I typed in ifs, count if. We don't need to lock the range because we're not going to be dragging down anything. So we can highlight this range of cells here. No need to lock. Comma in speech marks. You need to put less than more than. So this is basically not to include. And let's type in here M Everati. Close your speech marks, close your brackets, and I'm hoping we get nine. Yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and count uh, all mobile. I don't know why I did that. Uh, models. Okay, so again, if we want to count all of the models, it's going to be count A. Should give us 12 um wait that was 11 because we had this row here yeah so it's 11 that's fine if you want to count um yourselves you can do if you look at the bottom um underneath lesson eight you can see it says 11 here anyway so you can do that as well right let's use um count if to search for these um individual models actually we can't because um Apple is in a different column. So let's just do it independently then. So um, count if we want to look up this range of cells here. Comma, and we can refer to this criteria. So we've got two iPhone 15s. Um, equals count if. We want to look up this range of cells, the brands. And the criteria is going to be Apple. And again, count if. So I'll try to mix it up on this one here. So the range is the models, comma, and then this is the criteria here. So we're looking for this criteria in this range of cells, S23, but one, two. Puts a bracket. And then not Samsung, guys, we're going to be looking up this range of cells here. So equals count if. Okay, we're looking up this range of cells, comma, and in speech marks, less than, more than, uh, which means not to include Samsung. Close the speech mark, close the bracket, and press enter. So we have five. So I'm going to count everything apart from Samsung. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So that's right. Okay, just to finish off with the count functions, guys. Um, I'm not going to do these ones here because we kind of done this now in these previous examples. But what we want to do is find any years which is 2012 or greater. Okay, so it'll be equals count if. Okay, so for the range, we look in the years. And then for the criteria, what we need to do, speech marks. Um, more than or equal to 2012. Let's close the speech mark, close the bracket. So let's see what we sh what should we expect. So 2014, yes. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need to include 2012. Let's press enter. Yes, we've got the right answer. Um, we'll do the last one anything before 2011 so 2011 or before again we're going to look in the same range of cells comma and in speech marks less than equals to 2000 and 
11. Close the speech mark. So what should we expect to see? Uh, this one here, 2008, 2007, 2009, so 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, let me just press enter. Yep. And I'll do the last one, not 2013. So count if. Uh, let's click up here. Comma, speech marks, less than, more than. And then 2013 was it, yeah. Close the speech marks, close the bracket, and job done. So 2013 is 10. So let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, not that one. Seven, eight, nine, ten, not that one, yes. Okay, guys, we've come to the end of using count functions. So remember, we've got count, where we're only counting uh, numbers within a range of cells. Count A will count anything, letters, numbers, a combination, including symbols as well. Unless it's empty, it will count the cell. And count if, if you're counting a specific criteria. Okay, guys, please uh, drop your comments below. Please help share the videos and the channel, especially if you're doing an ICT, IGCC course. I think these videos will be really useful for you guys. Join me in the next video. We're going to be looking at uh, using the sum if function. Thank you for your time again. And good luck in your exams. Okay, bye-bye.